I can tell you about Emily. I went to dancing school with Emily. I was very graceful. One of the interesting things about Citizen Kane is Orson Welles' ability to manipulate time. A great example of this type of manipulation occurs in the breakfast scene. Here we see Orson and his wife's relationship go from very much in love at the start of their marriage to distant and cold in a matter of just a few minutes. It was a marriage just like any other marriage. One of the first things we notice is how Emily and Charles sit close to each other, with Charles waiting on Emily bringing her her meal. Additionally, the romantic music in the background sets up the scene. I wonder what the servants will think. They'll think we enjoyed ourselves, yes. didn't we? I don't see why you have to go straight after the newspaper. You never should have married a newspaper man. They're worse than sailors. I absolutely adore you. Oh, Charles, even newspaper men have to sleep. I'll call Mr. Bernstein, have him put off my appointments until noon. What time is it? Oh, I don't know, it's late. It's early. Charles, do you know how long you kept me waiting? Here, Emily again complains about Charles' work schedule. However, this time we see our first separation by the bouquet of flowers while they sit on opposite sides of the table. Your only correspondent is the inquirer. Sometimes I think I'd prefer a rival of flesh and blood. Oh, Emily, I don't spend that much Emily is now bothered and frustrated by articles Charles is running in his paper. The facial expressions also tell quite a bit about how each party feels. States. He's still Uncle John. He's still a well-meaning fathead who's running a pack of high-pressure crooks around his administration. This whole oil scandal. He happens to be the president, Charles, not you. That's a mistake that will be corrected one of these days. You, Mr. Bernstein, sent Junior the most incredible... Now in their sixth year of marriage, the couple disagrees on a gift for their soon-to-be-born son. Here the two vehemently disagree on whether or not the gift should be displayed in the nursery, with additional items on the table separating them. Yes. Really, Now the couple appears to be in a more formal setting. The two are sharp towards each other, with Charles displaying his large ego. The two now sit in silence on opposite ends of the table, with the music now playing depressing song. They are reading opposite papers, and everything points to distance between them. Wasn't he ever in love with her? He married for love. Love. That's why he did everything. That's why he went into politics. It seems we were... As you can see, Wells is able to manipulate an entire relationship between two characters in a montage in two minutes. The music, lighting, and props all play key roles in moving time forward and helping the audience to see the distance grow between the two characters. In the movie The Matrix, the director uses special effects to manipulate time in new ways. By ghosting characters and filming in high frames per second, the video is able to be slowed down and still remain high quality and look realistic.